Okay, welcome to Germany, turn one of the Young Grasshopper Tournament edition of Axis and Allies Global 40. Um, so they have 30 IPCs to spend. We're going to go with a fairly standard build, I think, of um, two um, transports and a, an aircraft carrier. All right, Germany will be declaring several uh, attacks this, uh, this turn. So um, first and foremost, obviously, we're going to do some naval attacks. We're going to attack the uh, Canadian forces in Sea Zone 106 with a submarine from 118 and a submarine from 117. We're going to go after the uh, British cruiser in 91 with two subs from 108 and 103. Uh, and we're going to go for only one of the two British naval stacks up by uh, the home islands. We're going to go for... C zone, whatever this is, uh, 111. And we're coming in with a sub from 124, a fighter from Norway, uh, two fighters and three tactical bombers from Western Germany, and two strategic bombers from Germany. Um, in terms of other combat, uh, we are going to be very ambitious against France. So I'll show you what we have happening over here. Let's zoom out just a smidge. Okay, so uh, in Normandy, Bordeaux, we're going to come in with two infantry, one artillery, and one tank from Holland, Belgium. In southern France, we're going to come in with one tank from greater southern Germany, two mechs from uh, western Germany, and uh, the tactical bomber from Germany is going to come into southern France as well. Um, into... France proper, so into the battle for Paris. Um, it is four infantry, three uh, mechanized infantry, and an artillery from Western Germany. Two tanks, one artillery, and two infantry from Holland, Belgium. Two tanks from Greater Southern Germany. Uh, and then, oh, uh, the fighter from Holland, Belgium, and a tactical bomber from Poland is going to hit there as well. Uh, we're also coming into Yugoslavia, and we're going to come in with a fair number of forces here. So one infantry, one tank from Romania, two infantry, one tank, and one fighter from Slovakia, Hungary. Uh, I think it's six infantry, two artillery from greater southern Germany into Yugoslavia. So we'll start setting up these battles. We'll probably do the naval battles first. Uh, and then uh, start on the land stuff. Okay, this is the battle for Sea Zone 106. Uh, the two German submarines are U-79 and U-80, and they're going up against the Canadian destroyer Haida and the Canadian uh, transport ship uh, Prince David. Uh, so we have two twos, and we got a hit. So we are sinking the... Uh, at least this and a miss so um, this gets sunk and now this gets auto sunk because uh, there's nothing left to defend it and Germany clears the sea zone with no casualties to its submarines okay this is the battle for sea zone 91 the two German u-boats u-70 and u-83 are coming in against the HMS Ajax, which is a British cruiser. Uh, the two subs are going to get a first strike, so the cruiser might not get to shoot back. And they both missed. That's not a good sign. Okay, cruiser goes and hits. So we lose a sub, and we're going to try again because we still have the first strike advantage here. And hit. So bad news for the Germans. They lose both of their subs and do not sink the cruiser. Okay, in the battle for Sea Zone 111, the German U boat U 72, along with three fighters, three tactical bombers, and two strategic bombers are going after 
the HMS Windsor Destroyer, the HMS Norfolk Cruiser, and the HMS Royal York Battleship. The Brits have elected not to scramble the fighter from the Scottish Air Base because it would basically just be throwing that fighter away, even though it might do some additional damage. Uh, so this is going to be the um, this is going to be the uh, battle. So we have a two for the sub, which doesn't get to shoot first because of the destroyer. We have three threes for the fighters, three fours for the pack bombers, and two fours for the strat bombers. We need four hits here. got two, four, six hits, so the entire navy is sunk, and again, the fighter would have been part of that casualties as well. So the defense is a two for the destroyer, a three for the cruiser, and a four for the battleship. And they're only going to lose the sub, so they keep their fighters and uh, attack bombers, so a successful attack by the Germans to clear the sea zone. In the Battle for Normandy Bordeaux, the Germans are coming in with an unsupported infantry, an infantry supported by an artillery, and a tank. We got one hit. So the French infantry is dead, so the French is, are defending with an infantry and an artillery. And hit one. So one of the German infantry is killed. So there's our death pile. So two twos and a three. Hit with the two. And defense. Hit. So Germany loses both the infantry but does manage to take the territory with two casualties. In the battle for southern France, the Germans are coming in with two unsupported mechanized infantry at one each, a tank at three, and a uh, combined arms tactical bomber at four combined with the tank. Um, and the French are defending with an infantry and an artillery. So here's the attack roll. One hit. Other anemic attack rolls here. Okay. Two defenses. No hits. Well, that's a little bit better. Uh, so same roll again. One hit. So that's it. And the French defend and miss. So Germany takes the territory with no casualties. Okay, this is the battle for Yugoslavia. The Yugoslavians are defending with five infantry. The Germans are coming in with seven unsupported infantry at one, two infantry at two, supported by two artillery at two, two tanks at three, and a fighter at three. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. They only needed five, so the territory is taken, regardless of what happens with the Yugoslav defense. But the Yugoslavians do manage to take out two German infantry. So Germany takes the territory with two casualties. And finally, our biggest battle of the turn is going to be the battle for France itself, for Paris. Uh, now, because the Germans are coming in with two uh, planes, um, the lone um, French anti-aircraft gun is going to get two shots. And misses with both of them, so that's good news for the Germans. Okay, so the Germans are coming in with six infantry unsupported at, at one. One mechanized infantry unsupported, uh, two supported mechanized infantry with two artillery, four tanks, a fighter, and a tactical bomber. And we have two, four, six, seven hits. So that is going to be the anti-aircraft gun and all six of the infantry. Okay, let's put all these dice down here for now. Uh, so the um, French are defending with one French artillery and one British artillery at two. The six infantry that have already been killed at three at two each. Two tanks, one French, one English, and one fighter. 
and they got three hits total. So one, two, three. So the Germans will lose obviously three infantry, because that's what they're gonna lose. So, uh, so we have two of these, two of these, and one of these. That was not bad first attack with Germany. So we get rid of these three, and we reroll this. So we're looking for five hits total. Terrible second roll. Terrible second roll. Horrifically bad second roll. So obviously we'll lose the British um, gun there. So that's two twos, two threes, and a four. And two. So two infantry, obviously. Uh, did we take them away yet? We did take them away. Okay, so we lose two of those. Okay, so looking for four hits now. Two, four, five hits. So we got everything. And we just have to withstand the two, two, uh, two, two threes, and a four. And three hits. Wow, okay, so that's these two plus that. Okay. So, uh, Germany loses, in total, all of the infantry that they had. So that was seven infantry and two mechanized infantry, but they do take France. Okay, let's talk about the German non-combat movement. Well, first all, the planes need to be landed. So the fighter from Yugoslavia is going to join the airbase in um, southern Italy, as is the fighter from France. The tactical bomber from southern uh, fr France has to land in one place, and that's going to be in northern Italy. Um, the TAC bomber from France will land in western Germany, because that's actually the only place it can land. And then up here, all of the uh, planes that were involved in the assault on Season 111, uh, all but two of them are going to land back in western Germany. And the two that are not landing in Western Germany are going to land in C-Zone 113 and be placed on the new carrier. Uh, now, speaking of which, we're going to fortify that C-Zone as well. I was thinking about going actually up to 112, but there's quite a bit of British Navy and, uh, and um, uh, Air Force that can hit that. And I don't want to put the fleet in danger. So I'm not going to move out of, of 113 yet. Um, and I will um, move uh, the cruiser and the transport from 114 into 113, but not before loading the transport with an infantry and a tank and dropping those off in Norway. Uh, down here in Germany proper, uh, we will move, looks like five infantry and two uh, artillery plus um, an anti-aircraft artillery into Poland. And then the rest of the infantry, I think it's six infantry, one artillery, and two anti-aircraft into Slovakia, Hungary. Uh, there will be one anti-aircraft from Western Germany moved into Germany, one anti-aircraft from Western Germany moved into France. And I think if I'm not mistaken, oh, sorry, no, there are two more moves that we want to look at. Uh, up there in Norway, we're going to move three units into Finland and activate that pro-axis neutral. Uh, and then also down here in uh, Bulgaria, we're going to move the guy from Romania and activate that pro-axis neutral. So um, let me tidy up the board and we'll come back in a second with placement and um, income. Okay, in terms of placement of new units, the new carrier is going to go in season 113. Just to give it a little bit of additional protection, because I was actually thinking, if I put all the navy here, England really does have enough stuff to take a poke, even with the scramble. So, and that would pretty much negate Sea Lion for the game, basically. Uh, so we're putting our new carrier and two new transports here. Uh, now, in terms of income, we have to make some adjustments. So, Germany is going to go up two. For Finland. They're going to go up one for Bulgaria, 
they're going to go up two for Yugoslavia. Oops, I forgot to take that off. Um, and, oh, uh, I should also mention, by the way, I did do one more non-combat move that I didn't mark. I moved the two guys from Denmark south into Western Germany, just for some additional defense, just for fun. Uh, okay, so, sorry. Uh, so, two plus two plus one. Uh, plus all the French territory. So we're dealing with uh, two for Normandy, Bordeaux, two for Southern France, and four for France. Or sorry, three for Southern France. So three, seven, nine. Okay, so uh, in terms of the income tracker, if we have a look at that, uh, Germany is actually going to go up 14 to 44. And France goes down from 19 to 10, even though it's not collecting any income. I still track it just because I'm, I'm anal that way. Uh, okay, so in terms of income, there is one little adjustment that we need to make first because uh, the Germans are being convoyed. All right, their new uh, area in southern France here, there are two French ships in C-Zone 93 off the coast. So they are going to get a chance to roll uh, convoy. Okay. So three and two, they could only get three. So the Germans are going to lose three dollars. Uh, so minus three from that. So in terms of our income, what we're looking at is uh, the French uh, coffers are emptied, 19 IPCs. Uh, they get 44 IPCs for um, all of their new territory. They're up to 44 IPCs. They have two national objectives right now. One is a 5 IPC bonus because they're not currently at war with Russia. The other one is a 5 IPC bonus for controlling Norway and Finland and Denmark. Or is it Denmark and Finland? Uh, Denmark and Norway, sorry, with uh, Sweden still neutral. Uh, but then again, remember, we have to take three IPCs away. Uh, for the um, for the um, convoy. So we have 19, 29, 39, 49, 59, 60, 70 IPCs to start turn two. Okay, so that was Germany turn one. Uh, the um, Pacific UK are up next. So that's, remember, this is the new one. This is combined UK Calcutta with those Aussies and Kiwis over there. Okay, so we'll see how they do on their first turn. Uh, Germany out.